We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the New York Yankees. Garrett Cole, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan, any thoughts? Well, Matt, he's been really pitching well recently. He even won the Pitcher of the Month award in the American League. And with all the other great starters in this league, that's really saying something. I think he's on top of his game, and I expect to see a solid performance out of him here. Now in the Big box, Kevin Newman. Pittsburgh. He's assuming the role the of DH in this Kevin. interleague matchup. Yeah, Matt, that's one of the funny things about National League teams playing in AL ballparks. All of a sudden, the lineup kind of changes dramatically. But the cool thing is it gets more guys a chance to get some at-bats or time in the field. First pitch on its way. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. First pick, 635. One strike now from Cole. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone. To me, when it's raining, the approach at the plate has to change a little bit, especially if you're a guy that can run a little bit. Put the ball in play any way possible, especially on the ground. Making plays in the rain becomes exponentially tougher to do when it's wet, so these offenses really need to limit the strikeouts. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they come in riding a five-game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. Yeah, Maddie, this team's coming together right now. They're playing dangerous baseball. You can tell the look in their eye. They feel good about where they're at. They've won a few games in a row, and they look to continue that trend today. Oh, Knuckle curve is off the bottom edge. Two balls and no strikes. Cole has made a name for himself as a starter that simply misses the barrel of the bat. He rarely allows a large number of hits, and he does a pretty good job at keeping the ball in the ballpark when the hitters do make contact. Yeah, Matt, and that's not an easy thing to do. I think one of the reasons is he changes speeds really well, and he throws both sides of the plate. One of the keys to missing the barrels, you have to be able to throw inside and throw outside, and he's about as good as it gets in baseball at missing barrels. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Fouled away. Now another 2-2. Two -two. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. You can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. Got him. My man on the mound just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Looking back That's at his fun. last start, he racked up nine Ks, and now he's looking like he can put up similar numbers in this one. Into the box, Brian Reynolds. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. Two out, nobody on. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. If the offense didn't already know, the man on the mound's got his A-game fastball working today. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. 
He's a veteran out on that mound. He understands he has to establish that inside fastball to open up the outer half of the plate. Tried to bury one down in a way, but it's a full count now, three and two. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out this side in order. One, two, three, go the Pirates. And now the Bombers will get their shot. No score. Mitch Keller will be on the mound for the series opener. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, if you could throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Here's Brett Gardner now. And he really four thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Gardner. First delivery to him on the way. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Dero, Dan, we look at this Pirates ball club as they interplay here tonight. They dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Matty, this definitely looks like a situation where somebody's going to have to call a team meeting. I don't know if it comes from a veteran or the manager decides to close the doors for a second but this team has not played well they find themselves losing lately they lost the last game and they're going to need a spark to get this thing turned around a dive and he knocks it down and he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single nice effort by the shortstop right there kept it in front of him that's all, that's all he could do right there Dan you know deal in a spot like that that's an infield single that's a tough play just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job but any way you look at it that should be scored a base hit and I'm sure it was ready here's the first offering now a fastball a bit too low here it's ball one the 1 0 is looked at for ball number two that's a great call right there fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base almost like a hybrid pitch out Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Runner, runner, Here's the 2 0. Oh. Pitch outside the throw. And he can't hold on to the throw as it short hops him and eats him up. That's a swipe of the bag. And this catcher, he throws really well, too. So that's not easy. Good job there by the base runner. Come back there. It's three and one. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Coming to the plate now, Aaron Judge. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. First pitch coming, here it is. Fly ball out to right field. Polanco has a read on it. He makes the catch, and tagging is the runner from second. The 
Gary Sanchez. At the plate, Gary Sanchez. From the stretch, here's the pitch. One thing I'm going to keep my eye on with this young starter on the mound is how he's able to stay ahead of hitters. It makes pitching at this level a lot easier. And when you're trying to establish yourself in the big leagues, you're going to have a much better time doing that. If you and a base hit as the run will score from third and the Yankees score first. It's one to nothing. Boy, when teams are playing well like this team is on a nice little winning streak right here. They strike early in this one to keep the mojo working. Yeah, Dan, from an offensive standpoint, everyone searches for confidence, and that's exactly what they have right now. Everyone contributing makes for a fun clubhouse. Giancarlo Stanton now. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Tough situation early out on the mound, but if he can limit the damage right here, might build some confidence and get him rolling. Torres at second Sanchez at first one gone count now a ball and a strike the one one hit hard to third and just past his outstretched glove into left the base hit throw comes in quickly here and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here I appreciate the moxie right there but three fastballs at this level usually turns into a knock number 29 Bring in Giovanni Urshela as he connects on the first pitch with a fly ball to center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he is in there at the plate. It's now a 2 nothing game. Obviously, he's hoping for more up there with the bases loaded, but you can't be too upset with a sack fly. Into the box now, Mike Talkman. And he has been, pardon the cliche, in fuego of late. Seen that average shoot up quite a bit over the past eight ball games. As a look, now the pitch. No balls and a strike to count. Coming down in buckets, cats and dogs, insert metaphor here, and the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. You know, one of the big issues is player safety, and right now this field is getting sloppy wet, Matt, and I don't know how much more rain this field can take. Grounder down the line at third, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Two men are on with two men out. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. Well, this is starting to feel like a make or break moment in this game. When you're playing a first place team, you can't expect to fall way behind early in the game and then mount a comeback. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Second inning coming up, and Heidi Watney has an update for us on the weather forecast. Matt, I am hearing that heavier rain is expected to pass through the ballpark at some point later in the game. The umpiring crew would, of course, like to get this one in uninterrupted, but it is possible that we could be looking at some sort of a delay if they determine the weather is impacting the play on the field. All right, Heidi, thanks. We'll hope for the best, of course, but guys, you have to assume these players are probably going to be impacted by this weather at least a little. Yeah, Matty, 100 percent it's going to be bothersome. They're going to have to watch their spikes. They're going to have to maybe gather themselves to get that extra grip on the baseball. But from a position player standpoint, you just can't lose focus. Starting pitchers are the ones that are going to have the most problems with it. 
Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a pool. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. A count of one and one to the Pirates' first baseman. Into the corner and slicing foul. The one two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Tuckman has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. That is it. The third baseman, Colin Moran. Digging in, Colin Moran. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. Here comes the first pitch. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Hung the slider there, but laid off for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. This is hit the other way out toward left field. In there, a base hit. He'll get it into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. The right field. Here's Gregory Polanco as he'll take a look at ball one. The average to start play at 315. Five homers and 14 driven in. Now the 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. The set and the 1-1 one, one pitch. The count is two and one. Two one pitches, a knuckle curve taken for called strike two. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. In comes the left fielder, but he won't get there. It falls in. And a relay home, and they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. How frustrating is that, Dan? He tries to bury something in with two strikes, and this guy throws out a fillet of fish to the opposite field. You know, sometimes you have to tip your cap that inside out swing. As a pitcher, you think you've thrown a good pitch, but sometimes as a hitter, they put a good a swing on it and still ends up for a base hit. At the plate, Kevin Kramer as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Oh, and one, here it comes. Oh, and he leaves that one right over the plate as this is in high and deep out to right center field. And it is gone, a home run. And good for him. Kevin Kramer has just launched his first major league home run. Hard to say how many more of these he'll hit in his career, but for now, I'm sure he's happy to say he's got at least one. Well, I think that any kid who's ever dreamed about playing this game dreams exactly this. Watching the ball disappear over the fence, then circling the bases in a big league ballpark. He'll be replaying that at bat over and over in his head. And now his phone's going to blow up. He'll be calling his parents, his buddies, Everybody's going to be talking about this one. Mm -hmm. 
And that'll bring up Eric Gonzalez. Eric. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Now the pitch. And he takes strike two. Three runs already home here. Thought about it, but he holds up on the knuckle curve one and two. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Still only one out in the inning. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Two ways to look at this walk. If you're the hitting coach, you say, that's a great A-B. Down 0-2 and you work the walk. But if you're a pitcher like me, that's just a case of letting a guy off the hook. And that can really frustrate you. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Jacob Stallings. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Here comes the first pitch. And that misses for ball one. Runner at first here, one man out. One ball, one strike, the count. Two balls and a strike. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. Over to first, Cole, and he'll dive back in safely. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. But this will land untouched. Here now the 2-2. And he fouls this one off. Runners on first with one down. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two-strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it, so it's a backwards K for him. To the plate now, Kevin Newman. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. He was a strikeout victim to open up the ball game. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Ball left outside. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Ball. 
three one. Well, to me, it just looks like he's really aiming the ball a little bit right now. And it's funny, when you do that, you usually don't have as good a control as you do when you just let it go free and easy. Full count now, three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now the payoff pitch home. And there's a base hit on the line. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold thanks to first and second here. The left fielder, Adam So here's Adam Frazier as it's grounded sharply to first. And Boyd will take this one over to the bag, and that ends the inning. But they strike for three in the inning, two on this two-run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second, and Pittsburgh's taking a 3-2 lead. And that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box. He'll start us out here in the home half of the second. The second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh, that's off the plate. The 1 0. It is taken strike one. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. One and two to DJ yeah. LeMayhew. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Polanco on the run. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Batting nut. The first baseman. Luke. Boy. Set to go now, Luke Voigt. And the confidence might be wavering at the moment. The last 10 or so ball games have been a real struggle for him. First pitch coming, here it is. Nope. And that misses ball. ball one. One out, nobody on. Grounded to the right. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Up next to the anchor. The center fielder. Fred Gardner. Stepping up to the plate, Brett Gardner. Here's the first pitch to him. Count one and oh. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. The pitch. A ball and two strikes. Hey, I got to really commend this pitcher right here. Was able to regroup in between innings. Something happened in a dugout because he's on point coming out for the second. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They're down three to two. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Well, Matt, I talked with Pittsburgh's manager during the inning break about the Pirates' offensive production to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Thank you, Heidi. 
Leading off for Digging in for his second at bat, Brian Reynolds. Brian Reynolds. 0 for 1 Brian for him here in this one. Reynolds. First pitch on its way. Ball. Ball one, no strike. At the ball. He may be down 2 and 0 after those first two pitches in this AB, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They didn't miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. The pitch. Ball three. Just a little bit off to start the third now. That's three straight balls. Three and one. And he lays off nope. there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. Digging in to try it again. Josh Bell. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. No balls in one strike. Here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Boy, he set her cut that fastball. It comes in in the high 90s, but that's a dangerous location no matter how hard you're throwing. 0-2, oh here it is. And this one's in the dirt. Good job there as the count goes to 1-2. and two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Still one and two. From the belt. Kicks and deals. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. Third inning. Already a 3-2 ball game. Oh, and he botches it. To second for one. Now that the third baseman, Colin Moran. In now, Colin Moran. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A.B., maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. We're only in the third inning, and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. And it's 2-0 and now to Colin Moran. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. The 2 0. Ball, Gregory Polanco waits on deck. Here it is, the 3 0. Finds the zone, strike one. Misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate now to go to the bullpen right this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. Bye. 
So first and second with one man gone. And the left-handed hitting outfielder Gregory Polanco bats next. He's set. Here it comes. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Runners are at first and second with one away. Behind 0 2 now. Working for the punch out and the offering. Try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. Always tough for one of these base umpires to make a call on a guy's check swing. It's not a great angle, and everything happens so quickly, so they really have to be paying attention out there. Looking at the replay, I think he got it right, so that's a tip of the cap for the blue. A ball and no strikes. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. And wow, a very high strike, but a strike nonetheless, and it's one and one. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Yep, Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. The set and the 2-1. Line to the right side. And that's going to get down out there. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. He's in at second safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Boy, this guy's having a great game here so far, d -Row. Home run earlier in the night, and that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's windup. And that's exactly been the case today. He not only mixed in that big bond, but now he's got three ribbies to boot. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Comes set the 0 1 in the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Second and third, two away. One one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. But the Pirates get a run here on the RBI double. Bottom of the third coming up. It's now 4 2 Pittsburgh. Standing in, Torres. He scored Four after nine, reaching nine. on a walk in his first at bat. Top. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Here comes the first pitch. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. That elevated fastball right there. That is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. A ball and a strike. One and one. Yankee shortstop one behind in the count one and two. The one two. Yeah. 
Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Full count. Here it comes. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. And don't forget, he lost his last time out, so he wants to get off on the right foot here. The last thing he wanted was to walk the leadoff man. Now with the plate, Aaron Judge flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. He's set and the pitch. Ball one, no strike. Third inning here, already 4-2 our score. Good pitch there down below the zone got him to go after it. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Boy not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches attack the strike zone early a lot of deep counts and working himself into a lot of trouble. The 2 1. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Bare handed for one. Over to Bell for the double play. Nice job on the mound to bounce back from the leadoff walk. Those are usually pretty costly, but that won't be the case this time after the two ball. So here's the cleanup hitter, Gary Sanchez. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, Matt, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two out rally started. Now here it comes. Hey. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And it's 0-2 to Sanchez. Two well-executed pitches at the knees right there, but I know this hitter's looking for something up. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Fastball well outside. This is popped up. Gonzalez is camped under this one. As he puts this one away, the side is retired. Yanks held in check, still down by a count of four to two. So coming to the plate, Jacob Stallings. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. First pitch on its way. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. And he takes a cold strike one. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down or he won't be out here very long. One and one. Here it comes. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Hey, no shame in that. Your eyes light up when that heater comes above the belt. That's so tough to lay off of. 
Two balls and two strikes the count to the Pirates catcher. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Whoa, right back at him, and it hit him. But he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. Opportunity now to take a look at some of the future players in the Yankee organization as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing well in recent action. Into the box now, Kevin Newman. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Now the 1 0. On the ground to the right side. LeMayhew's got it, and there's out number two. And that'll bring in Adam Frazier. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Hey, it's been a little bit of a rough outing for this guy in this one so far. And one thing you can look at if you want to get really picky, less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Lifted in the air out to center field. Oh, and this deflects right off him. The throw into second. And a good effort to bring it back in quickly, but he's in at second base with a double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year, but you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. So now to the plate, Brian Reynolds. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now the 1 0. Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. Throw into second. Throw to second, and he's out. But one run does come in to score on the play before the inning comes to an end. But the Pirates get a run here on the RBI double. Bottom of the fourth coming up. Now 5-2 Pittsburgh. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. A base hit in his first trip. takes this one high one and one that was a tempting pitch to swing at right there a big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark two balls and a strike to count now the two one back with one down and in for ball three. Gio Urshela will be next. Halfway to 100 pitches. Here it is. 
Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. But this will land untouched. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts at the bottom of the fourth. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. At the plate, Gio Urshela picked up an RBI on a sack fly in his first appearance. Has a look, now the pitch. Ball. The 1 0 home. Now, this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Hit hard back up the middle. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. You grind to get count leverage every time you step to the plate, and the hitter took full advantage. Good-looking swing right there for the base knock. In now Mike Talkman and he puts it on the ground to second one there on to first but not in time as he beats it out now back second baseman DJ LeMayhew. into the box now DJ LeMayhew and their runners at the corners now First delivery to him on the way. And a ball 1-0. Oh. Hey, this is a spot as a pitcher right now you want to get a little bit greedy. Ideal would be to roll up a two ball. At worst, try to get yourself a strikeout. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Polanco has a read on it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And they'll get one back with the sack fly as it's now a 5-3 ball game. Digging in now for the Yankees, Luke Voigt. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. That's the human element of the game right there. Umpires are going to miss a couple calls. It's the pitcher's ability to stay composed and grind that's going to make him successful today. Swing and a liner. Foul. The 1-1 one, one is strike two swinging. I got to count one and two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Throw over to the bag, and the runner back safely. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs. And now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with.
Ready for another shot now. Brett Gardner. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Here comes the first pitch. Three runs, four hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. And he misses with it one and one. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Three and one now to Brett Gardner. Well, two on, two outs, and he's got himself in a great hitter's count. He just has to be careful not to get too aggressive. A walk would be good here, too. Set to deal. Here's the 3 1. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news a single probably drives in a couple of runs. Torres, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch of the at bat. This is on the ground to short. Is he going to get out of this? Maybe not, as this is kicked out there. Oh, he spoke too soon. He beats it out at first. Well, I think he took it for granted there a bit. Probably thought he had it in the bag, and he just lost concentration for a minute. Now his pitcher has to pick him up with two outs. Stepping into the box, Aaron Judge, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. First delivery to him on the way. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. He set the 0-1. There's ball one. A couple of lefties start to get loose now in the bullpen. Two out, bases loaded. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. A strike away now from getting out of this mess. Sometimes pitching is all about minimizing, right? So keeping it to two runs across in the inning would be huge. Lays off two and two now. Boy, this fourth inning has really been a struggle for him. Nothing seems to be going his way right now. And a swing and a miss here. So it took him 31 pitches, but the side is finally retired. So they do strike for two, but it could have been much worse as they strand the bases loaded. On to the top of inning number five we go. It's the Pirates five and the Yankees four. So that'll bring up Josh Bell. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Well, he's still out there to start the fifth inning, but it's been a real grind of a start for him. The pitch count is much higher than he'd like it to be, so it's hard to imagine him working really deep into this game. One strike now from Cole. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. Obviously, he's not fatiguing whatsoever. Still in the mid to high 90s with his fastball. These guys got to stay on the attack if they're going to have a chance. The slider is laid off on the inside as it just misses the zone. The 1-2.
And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Here now the 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Stepping in now, Colin Moran. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. And here in just the fifth inning, this will be pitch number 100 here. Boy, pitch count up near 100 right now, D. Rowe. And this is when you try to get to a good starting pitcher. Right now, looks like he's running on fumes. Yeah, the manager's got to get a couple people up in the bullpen right now. One ball hits the gap. They get runners in scoring position. This game could be out of commission. Snatched out of midair at first base for route number two. Now batter, the right fielder, Gregory Polanco. Digging in once again, Gregory Polanco, one for two. He singled and struck out in two trips. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And this is taken outside for ball one. And he misses again, 2-0. and oh. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Here he comes on 2-0. and oh. In there, 2-1. and one. Five runs, seven hits, and one error in the contest for the Pirates so far. Three balls and a strike to Gregory Polanco. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. And, oh, that should have been ball four there, but it's a called strike, and that runs things full at three and two. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. Ready once again, Kevin Kramer. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run, get you a ribbing. Change up, called strike one. Two out with the man at first. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Down 0-2. Maybe simplify the game plan right here. Get on the heater, even though he has five weapons to go to. Ball. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. He started this guy backwards, a couple of off-speed pitches early, followed by back-to-back -back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And this is foul tipped as he stays alive here. But meanwhile, that ball came right back at our home plate umpire, and he may need some attention at this moment.
High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gardner is there. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Fair to say, oh my goodness, uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Stephen Brault is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Stephen Brault. Next for New York, Gary Sanchez, a hit in two tries so far. Gary Sanchez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a cut fastball in there for a strike. It's 0-1. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. The wind up and the 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. So with this day over now, you get a look at the final pitching line now for the Pittsburgh starter. The Not the night he or his club were hoping for. Yeah, he was really frustrated and out of rhythm in this one. Unfortunately, I'm sure he's frustrated right now, and he will be for a while. But the good news is that the guys are still in the game. The offense is picking him up. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Giancarlo Stanton stands in as he looks at ball one here. The 1 0 home is swung on and missed, strike one. The 1 1 home. Ball two. I got two one the count. Eight, two. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. No offer from Stanton. It's ball four, so he'll head down to first. Well, you never want to issue a free pass if you can help it, but when a hitter like that digs in, you'd rather he's standing at first than driving a ball out of here and erasing your one-run lead. Settling in now, Gio Urshela. First pitch of the at-bat. Popped him up. Stallings moving to his left. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now that that's exactly the what they field. wanted out of that pitch up of the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Digging in Mike Talkman. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, outside. A runner on first with two away. Much too tardy on the fastball. One and one. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. The one one home is taken for ball two. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch. 
after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. The 2-1 home. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Both teams battling the elements thus far, but we've got a tight game through five. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Chad Green takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 57, Chad Green. New inning set to get underway. Stepping in, Eric Gonzalez. He went down on strikes last time up. And you can live with punching out with the bases empty, but in his last at bat with two runners in scoring position, you cannot go down not putting the ball in play. Too much on the line, too many ribby opportunities out there to swing and miss in that spot. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. One zero pitch. Uh, offered it a low one there, but came up empty. Good luck with that pitch. That pitch is an absolute nightmare. Almost unhittable. Nasty downward action. High 80s velocity. And that misses two and one. Here's the pitch. Nope. That's inside. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. The 3 1. A swing and a miss, and that'll fill the count at 3 and 2. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Now back. Jacob. Ball. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Throw is too late, so the sacrifice attempt turns into a base hit. Well, he took a risk with the decision to throw to second instead of taking the sure out at first. Not sure if someone was yelling for him to go to second, but we know now it was the wrong call. Next will be the designated hitter, Kevin Newman. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Here comes the first pitch. Nope. Too low, 1-0. Oh. No As a look, now the pitch. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. And it's one and two. Oh, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. 
It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. In the dirt here. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Ready now. Two strike pitch on its way. Doesn't chase after the splitter and he works it back to a full count. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. That swung on and lifted down the left field line. Left fielder is on the move and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Now back, left fielder, Adam Frazier. Digging in and looking for more, Adam Frazier is working on a one for three thus far. First offering on its way. At the ball. The 1 0. Misses for the second ball. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. And he gets this fastball over. It's 2 and 1. You know, he fell behind 2 0, Matty, but he battled right there and got right back in this count. An aggressive fastball, middle of the zone. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Late swing there at the breaking ball. Must have been looking for something else. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Count is 3 2. First and second now, one man out. Misses with that one. Ball four. And that's going to load the bases now with still only one away. The center fielder, number 10, Brian Reynolds. Stepping up now, Brian Reynolds. He was thrown out at second trying to stretch a base hit into a double in his last at bat. Yeah, fellas. Not sure if he got the go ahead from his base coach or not. Can't believe he did. But it looked like he was running in mud right there. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Gone! It's a grand slam! So he promptly unloads the bases with that one. Fourth home run for him on the season, as this is now a five-run cushion. Wow, you can understand what the pitcher's thinking. He doesn't have an empty base, and he needs to get ahead of the count. All he wants to do is get that first pitch over for a strike, but the batter knew the same thing, and he jumped all over it, smashing it into seats for a four-run blast. Luis Sessa will come on in relief now as he'll make his 10th appearance of the season. Josh Bell the next to hit. As he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. A ball and a strike. Sessa, a right hander who stands in even six feet. He's a five year vet at the major league level. Four runs here in this half inning. Ball and two strikes now. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Here's the pitch. Fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 two -two pitch.
Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Ready with another 2 2. Pitch popped up. Sanchez over to his right. Two gone. Now batting the third baseman calling Moran. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Colin Moran. A hit in two tries for him so far. Here comes the first pitch. Nope. Count one and two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss looked like the slider there, a ball and a strike. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. The one two. Boy, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there, just out of the strike zone. But listen. When you're a 300 hitter, you don't chase a lot of those so called pitchers' pitches. This guy knows the strike zone. Too high, ball three. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. And now that'll hop over the wall, so he'll be at second here with two away on a ground rule double. Pretty good swing right there as he drives this ball deep. One hops over the wall, and he could just walk into second base with a ground rule double. At the plate now, Gregory Polanco as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Two out here and a runner at second. No Good pressure. slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Here he comes on 2 and 0. Oh. Outside 3 and 0 oh now. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. So it's a two run dinger for Gregory Polanco. Sixth home run on the season for him, as this is now a seven run ball game. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Standing in now, Kevin Kramer. A swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. So far, two for three in this one. Here's the 0 1. Rip down the line, and this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. The bat, number two. He just smoked this ball right down the line. Take a look here. Hard to tell if it was fair or foul in real time, but you can see it flies right over the bag. Ump was all over it and made a great call. Into the box now, Eric Gonzalez, as he'll take a change up here for strike one. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. And it's fouled away. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is retired. 
All told, 10 men come to the plate here. Six of them score. To the bottom of the sixth inning, it's the Pirates 11 and the Yankees 4. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMahieu. He'll try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Action now in that pirate bullpen as a left-hander starts to heat up down there. That's wide, 2-0. Oh. Three and O oh now. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. A 3-0. Oh. And that oh, one misses, oh, right so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Show some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. Striding in once again, Luke Voigt. It was a walk in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Starts him out with a changeup off the plate for ball one. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Nobody out, runner on first. Nope. And 2 0 as this one's taken low. Voigt, playing here in his age 29 season, he was taken in the 22nd round back in the draft of 2013. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything, nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. To two and two now. Hey boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. He stays alive, still two and two. Runner at first with no outs here. Again, another foul ball. The 2 2 one more time he is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And, hey, a strikeout always works, too. So here's the veteran, Brett Gartner, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Here's the 0-1. Ball, and this is high, a ball and a strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. From the belt, the pitch. That's Lays off two. the one-two changeup, and he's worked it back to two and two. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. The 2-2. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Runner at first here, one man out. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with only one away. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. 
And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And they start him out away with a cold strike. With some traffic on the base pass, nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. Line drive to left. That's in there. Base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base and they're loaded now with one away. Nice piece of hitting right there. Sure. Looked like the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. They had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down, but eventually does get the third base. First pitch of the at bat. Aaron Judge stands in as he looks at a called strike. Bases are loaded with only one out. In there, and he's ahead 0 2 now. Just way too patient in this situation. With the bases loaded like this, this is your chance to be the hero. The 0 2 pitch. And a strike three called. My gracious, what a pitch with the bases loaded, and there are two away now. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. So now to the plate, Gary Sanchez. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. One run is scored. And the second run will score as well. Dan, from a pitcher's standpoint, that's a backbreaker. Two out, two RBI base hit right there. Awfully frustrating. You're trying to make some good pitches. You get two outs, and all of a sudden you give up that big base hit that drives in two. Frustrating for a pitcher. At the plate, Giancarlo Stanton, as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Comes set and the 0 1. Ball, that's out. Man, he just missed the zone right there. One of the toughest pitches in the game, that backdoor cutter. As an offensive player, you give up on that pitch. As soon as it comes out of the hand, next thing you know, it's trying to grab the corner. And this is going to wind up as extra bases as that'll play one for sure and maybe a second. As he arrives at second without a play, as a run will score on the play as well. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Blake Cedarland trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Blake Cedarland. to the plate now Gio Urshela now this is driven out to deep right center this could be trouble and this is going to find the wall out near the Yankee bullpen he pulls into second safely as they also score a pair of runs on the play just goes to show if you're going to throw that two seam fastball away which I don't think is the best pitch anyway you better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner with this one, it started out on the corner, so it leaked back right over the heart of the plate and got whacked. Pulls the string on that one, one strike. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. I got a ball, one strike. 
tough spot to hit here as a hitter. You have a base open, so you have to almost be trying to think like the pitcher. Is he going to try to pitch around me, or is he going to come in the strike zone? Runner in scoring position at second with two down. High in the air out to center field. Reynolds is on the move for it. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Nine men come to the plate, however. Five of them score. Seventh inning coming up. Bucks out in front, 11-9. Digging in now, Jacob Stallings. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First pitch on its way. Ball. The 1 0. No, that's ball. Not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. Now that designated hitter, Kevin Newman. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Kevin Newman. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit weakly back to the mound. He's got it. Torres at the bag. So that one wasn't quite hit sharply enough to turn two. Yeah, choppers like that make it really tough. You can't make the ball get to you much faster. So the key is making sure you field it cleanly and at least get one, which they did there. Digging in, Adam Frazier. First delivery to him on the way. 1-0. Runners on first with one down. That evens it up one and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Two balls, one strike. playing close games like this base runners mean everything so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes the three one and he lays off here a nice job it's ball four. First and second now with one away right about now the manager's questioning his decision to bring this guy in if you can't trust a reliever to throw strikes you can't trust him at all We'll see if he comes to get him sooner than later. Zach Britton comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh. Number 53. Zach Britton. Brian Reynolds will stride in again as we flash you back to inning number six. And this was certainly a big blow in this one. A grand slam as he left no doubt about that one. pitch coming here it is back up the middle and in for a base hit now it's cut off a throw to the plate and this will not be close and the run will score easily 
Hey, d -Roll, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. At the plate now, Josh Bell. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Two and now. And wow, that looked to be well inside, but it's a called strike. Two and one now. Three and one. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitchers fall behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. is on the ground is short. Could be two. LeMayhew for one. On to Voigt and inning ending double play. Pirates get just the one and that's all. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. Pirates on top 12 to nine. Leading off the inning DJ LeMayhew and they'll need him to get something going here. DJ LeMayhew. First offering on its way. Line toward the gap in left center. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Hey, excellent job right there. Leading off the inning with a base hit. We got to keep this line moving. We cannot stop. Nobody can make an out. We have to find a way to put two men, maybe three men, put some pressure on this defense. Stepping in now, Luke Voigt. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. No hits to this point. Hey. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. From the belt, the pitch. On the ground is short. This could be two. Scooped up to second for one. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game, as there are quickly two away now. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. So base is empty now after the double play. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Brett Gardner. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Lays off 1-0. and Obviously, the game plan wasn't to let this guy beat you right here. He's already walked twice, and that pitch out of the zone tells me they want nothing to do with him. The 1-0 home. Fly ball out to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Down in order go the Yankees. Still looking up at a 12-9 score. Trying to pick things up where we left off, Colin Moran. He came across to score after doubling in his last at-bat. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Hi. 
Nice. And a sinker's in there for a called strike, and he forges ahead, nothing in two. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Well, this has been a bullpen game for some time now, but let's go back and review the performances of the two starters, neither of whom turned in an outing to remember. Now at the plate, Gregory Polanco. He's two for three and looking for more here. Going back to that last A.B., that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off-speed pitches. Ball one to start the at-bat. High in the air out to center field. Gardner on the move. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Now batter, number 44. Kevin Kramer will dig in again, and as he does, we'll flash you back to inning number two as you get a look at his two run homer that was a big blow early on. First pitch on its way. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. I uh, had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. Man, this guy's been locked in all game long. I don't know where that ugly swing just came from. Here it comes, 0-2. Swing and a miss at a sinker. The strikeout retires the side. Inning is over. Down in order go the Pirates. It's still a 12-9 ball game. Kyle Crick is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. For the Pirates, number 30, Kyle Crick. At the plate, Torres, one for two in the ball game thus far. The shortstop, Weaver Torres. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball: you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Set. Here's the 0 1. And it's 1 and 1. And no complaint about that one. That's a strike, and it's 1 and 2. The pitch. Skied down the left field line. And they can't run it down. The next one two pitch. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier.
And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. That one bends into the zone. A strike on the breaking ball. Bases are empty, one man out. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Now the 2 1 pitch. Good opposite field power here, taken high and deep to right. Back goes Polanco at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now batting, catcher Gary Sanchez. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Gary Sanchez. Only four outs remaining for them to try and rally back in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh and one. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. And boy, big problems no here ball. to start this at bat. It's 0 2 now. Ooh, wee, that was an ugly swing. I'm sure he's not going to watch that one on replay after the game. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. So the Yanks go 1 2 3. Still looking up at a 12 9 score. Jonathan Holder enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Kicking off the top of the ninth, Eric Gonzalez as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. First offering on its way. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Hopped up. Voigt over to his left. One down. The batter. The catcher. Jacob. Stalling. Up next for the Buckos, Jacob Stallings. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Eight. Didn't quite catch the zone there, ball one. One out, nobody on. Well hit, but also well foul into the seats and left. The one two is put in play to the right side of the infield. Throw on to first, two gone. Now back, designated hitter, Kevin Newman. The plate now for Pittsburgh is the D.H. Kevin Newman and looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. Here comes the first pitch. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball but he wouldn't commit it's ball one. You know something to keep in mind they're really burning through that bullpen and this is only the first game of the series definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series and maybe even the whole week ahead. Two balls and no strikes to the Bucks DH.
Let's it fly 2 and 0, but this one's by him for the first strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. The 2-2. Two -two. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. The 3-2 pitch to third. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Nothing in the Pittsburgh ninth. Last chance for the Yankees. They trail it here by three. Keone Kella enters the game to finish now, this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Number 35, Keone Kella. Striding forward now is the D.H., Giancarlo Stanton. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. Hey, not impossible, but highly unprobable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. 1-0 pitch on the way. And that's in there for his strike one and one. Great pitch right there. That is a huge breaking ball. Not shocked he took it. Got to calibrate that one for a second. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Now the pitch. Easy there, big fella. Two and two. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch, and it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. Set to deal on two and two. Three balls, two strikes. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a three-two count. With the three-run lead, no one on base, this is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly set up a big inning. And the payoff pitch. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Reynolds is on the move for it. To the track. Boom goes the dynamite. Solo home run here off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. Number 11 for him on the season as this lead has been sliced down to two. That, my friends, is a cardinal sin for any closer. You can't give up the long ball. Good thing for him, he still has the lead. We'll see now if he can rebound and actually keep it. Standing in now, Gio Urshela. As he'll take a look at ball one. So far, two for three in this one. The 1-0 oh delivery. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as, yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. Changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Popped him up. Kramer waits on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now that no one feel that. My God. man. Into the box, Mike Talkman. 
It was a flyout for him in his last trip. From the stretch. Hey. Kella playing here in his age 26 season. This is his sixth season for him in the big leagues. Bases are empty, one man out. Foul tip held on to behind the plate at strike two. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Now the pitch. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. This inning didn't get started the way he'd hope with that home run, but I've got to give him credit for flushing it and coming back here to get strikeouts on the last two guys. He's acting like it didn't even happen before. Into the box, DJ LeMayhew. As he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. He's one for two in this one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. I know this guy has a lot of weapons on the mound, but what makes him so successful is that he's aggressive in his own, getting ahead, forcing action. Last chance for the Yankees. Good waste Outside. pitch, one and two. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Wow, that was a fun one to watch. A great game for guys with the sticks, but for pitchers, not so much. A classic slugfest, and they walk away on top in the end. 12 to 10 is the final score in this one. The Pittsburgh Pirates took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Stephen Brault claims the win out of the pen his first. Keone Kella closes the door for the save, his ninth of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.